This is how we use lists in order to do calculations. I've stored the values of the x variable in list 1. You can see that it's not working. Now it's working. You can see that I've got numbers 1 to 8 which represent our x variable. And I've got different numbers in list 2 which represent the probability. You should check to see that all of those numbers in list 2 add up to equal how much? 1. Because a probability function all have to add up to equal 1. Now if I want the expected value, we know the rule is to multiply x by the probability. So I put my cursor, the little black square, rectangle thing, at the top of list 3. And I tell the calculator to go list 1 multiplied by list 2. And when I press enter, it calculates all of those and stores them in the third list. Now I need to add them up. I do this, oh, well, I was a bit too far back, I do this by going to F2 here where it says calculation. Now before you jump into these calculation buttons over here, always check the settings with F6. List number three on mine is already set at the top of this for one variable. That's all we need. We just need to work with the numbers in list 3. If yours doesn't say list 3, change it to list 3. Now we press F1 where it says one variable. The calculator will perform a whole bunch of different calculations on the numbers in list 3. The only one I'm really interested in is the second one here. The sum of the numbers in list 3 is 4.5. That's the mean value of that distribution.